don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. <laughs> what is going on, YouTube? It is the BK Cop360 here, and I bring you guys great news. It is alleged that AMD's upcoming 8 core Zen CPU. Uh, launching in Q4 of 2016 or this year, I should have just said this year, but I didn't say this year, regardless of that, um, it's going to have double the performance of an 8350. Now that in itself is insane. Now, of course, I'll bring up a little picture to show you guys what I'm talking about. But respective of that, that is going to be absolutely insane if it's true. Now, let's not jump the gun just yet. We still have to wait for this chip to actually come out and for it to be benchmarked. But as a whole, that is absolutely insane. So it pretty much means that one power driver, power driver, sorry, module equals one Zen core. I mean, like a two to one difference. That's absolutely insane. It's some really good stuff. Now, everyone knows that Zen and Polaris and Vega or AMD's last ditch effort, the last chance. If AMD can't deliver well with Zen and they fell pretty badly with Polaris and Vega, they're done, man, they're done. I mean, this is their last hope. And I really do think that they know that and they're gonna deliver here. Because if this right here is true, if these performance numbers are true, then that is like, it's great, it's epic. I mean, Intel is finally gonna have some competition again. Now, of course, you might be asking, Cobbs, what's different about Zen? Well, first of all, uh, we're going back to SMT, simultaneous multi-threading. When AMD Force, uh, first sorry, launched Bulldozer, they came up with this idea of you know clustered multi-threading, where they had these modules and these, oh, like, it was just AIDS. I mean, what they, they thought it was going to work well when they first thought about it, but then when they actually put it, into practice when they actually launched Bulldozer, then they launched PowerDriver, and then they launched Steamroller. Well, of course, they realized with Bulldozer, but they didn't really have a choice at that point with the following microarchitectures. Um, they realized like it wasn't as good as they thought, and everyone knew that they screwed up. That's not to say the 8350 is a bad CPU. I mean, I have an 8320 myself. It's not bad at all. But when you compare the single-threaded performance of the AMD current AMD CPUs to what Intel has to offer, it's definitely problematic. Now, of course, a multi-threaded scenario situations, it's a little bit different. It's not as bad, but as a whole, AMD knew what they did wrong. I mean, if they didn't, they would still be sticking with CMT right now, but instead they're going back to SMT, simultaneous multi-threading, and you're gonna really challenge Intel here. Now, of course, there have been claims, um, you know, word on the street is apparently, um, in terms of single-threaded performance, these new Zen chips are gonna be around the performance of Ivy, when you talk about uh, Ivy Bridge, sorry, I should have said Ivy Bridge, but they're gonna have around the single-threaded performance of an Ivy Bridge CPU. I don't know, uh, maybe it could be Haswell, Skylake, we really don't know. I mean, the chip isn't out yet. All of this is theoretical, people are just making guesses, but all those guesses are useless until we actually see the CPU launch. So for now, I mean, AMD themselves are claiming two times the performance of an 8350. Now, of course, WCCF Tech believes that that means it's going to be trading blows with an i7 Extreme Edition $1,000 5960X. Now, I wouldn't take it that far just yet. I mean, this is AMD here. We need to just wait and see. I mean, let's not jump the gun on anything. You know, the same thing applies to the GTX 1080 and the 1070 and whatnot. But let's just see what they give us i mean i'm hopeful i mean if zen is good i will probably upgrade through to zen now of course talking about me upgrading or speaking of me upgrading let's get into price now look please do not expect amd to launch an eight core cpu which is around the performance of a 5960x at 300 us dollars it's not gonna happen amd need to make money man i mean sure the um the shares have been going up a little bit over the past uh, few weeks, about in the past month, actually. It's, it's been really good for them. But, like, regardless, they need to make money here. They can't be launching this product, which they've been working on for a very long time. They put a lot of hard work into it. They can't just launch that flagship at 300 bucks, man. It's not going to happen. So expect it to be... Uh, I don't know. I'd like to say at least five, six hundred bucks. I don't think it'll be more than an Intel CPU at eight cores, but I don't know. We're just gonna have to see. 
but it's definitely going to be expensive, or at least the 8 core will be a little bit expensive. The 6 core, I really don't know. That could be $300, 300 400 maybe not 400 probably around the 3-ish mark. I really don't know. Like, I'm just speculating here, but I'm just trying to, like, tell you guys, please. We're not seeing a $300 8-core Zen CPU. It's just not going to happen, man. AMD can't make that risk. They can't lose all of that money, man. It's just not going to work like that. I mean, it worked with the 8350 and the 80. 320 and the 6300 and whatnot because everyone knew that the cpus weren't as good um as the intel's like at that point already and amd kind of just needed to just sell them get rid of them and they knew that bulldozer was doa it was dead on arrival man as soon as everyone saw those performance numbers and how weak it was in single thread performance uh due to the fact that especially game developers don't really use more than a few cores of course that's changing you know we've got minimum system requirements we need at least four cores and whatnot look regardless of that if you just take a look at benchmarks the amd cpus are generally just weaker performing even using the same gpu uh, as when it would be compared with an Intel CPU in that same GPU, if that makes sense. Look, I'm starting to get away from the point. Um, anyway, the 6 to 8 core variants are launching first. I'm not sure if I said that already, but if I didn't, there you go. I'm giving you the gift of that speech already again. Now my speech is starting to deteriorate. I'm talking like a retard. I'm going to end this video soon. Anyway, guys, competition is coming back. Intel, if this rumor is right, if these figures are correct, Intel is finally going to get some competition again. They're not going to be like, you know, chugging along, chugging along, where they don't really need to do fuck all or jack all um, to really, like, stay in the market. I mean, Intel almost, I don't want to say have a monopoly, but they have a very, very strong presence in the CPU market. Now, of course, the APUs, the Zen APUs, when are they coming? Apparently, they're coming in 2017, early 2017, so that should be good. Uh, there's been talk of them using HBM. I'm not really sure about that. So, I know we just gonna have to wait and see. I mean, the a the GPU part of the APU having its own memory, that is pretty damn sick. I mean, I don't know, guys. We're just going to have to wait and see. I'm just going to stop talking, get this over and done with. And, yeah, so, look, tell me, guys, what you think down below. If this is true, man, are you going to buy a Zen CPU? Because if this is and it's a good price for me, I sure as hell will. I mean, why not? AMD, once again, you're not going to price those eight cores like at 200, 300 bucks. It's not going to happen. But I do believe that they will undercut Intel. They're going to sell at a cheaper price than whatever Intel is selling um, in that tier, if that makes sense. So if AMD has a six core CPU that will sell it cheaper than an Intel six core CPU, if AMD has an eight core CPU, which we all know they will, that will sell it cheaper than the 6950X. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and the big K will see you later. Peace.